Hi guys, this is Alex from blackboxmycar.com. We're celebrating three year anniversary of Black Box My Car this month, and we decided to make a buyer's guide from questions that we receive all the time to help first time dash cam buyers. So let's get started. What is a dash cam? Koreans started using a dash cam as early as 2006 to have a silent witness on board to prove who is at fault in the event of an accident. With video evidence, it is your video versus someone else's word. This gives you an irrefutable video evidence and you don't have to worry about finding a witness. Streets in Korea are narrow and imported cars are expensive in Korea. Hit and run or vandalism on a nice car is seen quite often and therefore Korean dashcam companies made a dashcam that can run even when the car is parked. Hardwiring a dashcam with parking mode feature can not only protect you while you're on the road, but the dashcam can also capture hit and runs and vandalism. We will go in more detail later about this specific feature. So to give you a clear idea, dash cams provide video evidence in the event of an accident to prove who is at fault without having to argue with insurance companies or the other party. All footage is stored on this SD card. Videos are written in one, two, or three minute intervals. And this is so that in case of any accident, user can download the specific video file from the SD card quickly. Videos loop over and over. You don't have to worry about deleting videos on your dash cam. To maximize the video recording, buy a bigger SD card. Class 10 SD card is highly recommended for the best use of the dash cam due to the faster read and write speeds. One channel dash cam versus two channel dash cam. One channel system means you have one dash cam that is facing the front. Two channel system means you have one facing front and one rear facing unit. You have two options when it comes to getting a two channel system. Dual channel system usually means you have two separate dash cams running front and rear. For example, you would buy two DR6GWs to cover front and rear. This way you can maximize video recordings and you have full HD, full HD setup. The downside of this setup is that this method is quite expensive. You're looking at $600 to set up two channel system like this, $300 front, $300 back. So the dashcam companies came out with the solution to make a dedicated two channel system. This system, however, is only about two years old. There are a few selections, but many dedicated two channel systems still need a lot of improvements. Some of these issues include the rear camera not connecting to the front or missing rear videos because in this setup, front unit has the computer and the SD card is inserted to the front unit. Coaxial cable is the cable that links front and rear cameras. Different companies use different methods to connect the two, but what type of coaxial cable determines whether or not the system works well or not? Blackview is a leader when it comes to the dual channel system. Most companies in Korea are still pushing out HD VGA or HD HD setup. While Blackview was the first company to integrate full HD HD, the DR550GW, this system surprisingly worked. If you look at the earlier videos of the DR550GW, I wasn't too confident to launch the DR550GW and shared my poor experience with the dedicated dual channel system. However, Blackbeard was really the only device that worked out. Downside of the dedicated dual channel system is that you are compromising rear video quality. Because you have one computer to process both front and rear, rear video does not offer the best video quality. SD card spaces fill up quickly, so you need to use at least 64 gigabyte. FineView and Excel Electronics are also offering a reliable two-channel system. Trend in Korea is to go with two-channel system, and because there are so many drivers with the dash cams in Korea, people don't seem to care about the video quality. Therefore, HD VGA or HD HD setup is good enough. To give you a bit more information, there are dash cams that can cover up to six channel. Front, rear, two sides, inside facing the cabin, and finally a dash cam to the pedals. LCD dash cam versus non-LCD dash cam. Dash cam trend in Korea and China is to have a dash cam with an LCD screen. This is because LCD makes everything quick and easy. You can see the videos that's been recorded or change settings by a touch of a button. 
However, in North America, most people are afraid of leaving something valuable in the car, and I myself don't feel too comfortable leaving a device with an LCD screen. It becomes very noticeable from outside, and plus, a dash cam with an LCD screen can be distracting. Wi-Fi dash cam, what is that? We're seeing more and more dash cams with Wi-Fi feature. Blackview, Cobra, and eCell Focus Blackbox all have Wi-Fi technology. Many people think that Wi-Fi dash cams mean you can see live video footage wherever you are, but that's not true. Think of a Bluetooth connection between your phone to your dash cam. You have to be close to your dash cam in order to access the videos via Wi-Fi system. You're simply connecting your phone to Wi-Fi module that's built inside the dash cam. The whole purpose of this feature is to be able to see the video evidence at the scene of the accident. You can download the video right away onto your phone by using a dedicated app. Two years ago, I was rear-ended, but he started arguing with me and the witnesses fled the scene. Since my dash cam had no Wi-Fi feature and no LCD, I had to run to Staples in order to make sure I had a video. If you're a truck driver or someone that drives for a long period of time, you don't have to have your laptops around to save important videos. You can download these videos straight off the dash cam. You can also change your settings without having to remove your SD card. Suction cup versus non-suction cup. Some devices come with suction cup mount, some don't. What's better? This is one of the questions that we receive quite often. Most Chinese devices come with the suction cup mount, whereas Korean dash cams usually come with a permanent tape mount. Korean drivers usually want to leave their devices because Korean devices are capable of parking mode and therefore Korean companies make a device that's more hidden and mounted in a more permanent position. Suction cup mount is good if you are traveling a lot. You can easily mount dash cam in different cars. Same if you have multiple cars or drive different cars every day. However, the downside is that the suction cup makes the whole dash cam setup a lot more visible from outside and to enhance video quality, you want to minimize the distance between the lens of the dash cam to the windshield. This is something people miss out when they are buying a dash cam. How to install a dash cam. The simplest way is to plug the power cable to the 12 volt outlet in your vehicle. All dash cams from our website will come with a cigarette lighter power jack where you can simply connect it to the 12 volt outlet. Korean dash cams have parking mode activated by motion detection. In this case, you have to hardwire your dash cam via hardwiring kit. This hardwiring kit is used to monitor your car battery so that it does not get drained. It is a monitoring tool. Your dash cam will use your car battery as a power source when the car is off. When motion is picked up or the G-sensor senses a shock, the dash cam will start recording videos. I love this feature and it just makes sense to have a monitoring system that can be powered by your car's battery. As long as you're not constantly draining the car's battery, why not utilize this handy feature? My vehicle was hit and run back in 2014. And because I had a video footage of this accident, I didn't have to pay anything out of my pocket to fix my car. I didn't even have to pay a $500 deductible. Our customers have caught many, many incidents from hit and runs to vandalism by using our dash cams. Lastly, if you want to protect your car and maximize the parking mode, there is a battery pack option. T-Power Plus Alpha and Selling Battery B are battery packs for the dash cams. Check out this video to learn more. Here are my recommendations. If you're in the market for a simple day-to-day -day commute dash cam, Skyview G1 is my recommendation. If you're looking for a Korean dash cam with full HD quality, my recommendation is the Blackview DR3500 FHD. Although there is no GPS and Wi-Fi technology included, this dash cam comes with parking mode by motion detection at a very fair price. If you're looking for a great two-channel system, I would go with the Blackview DR650GW. This is our best seller and I can't stress enough about how only a few systems work well in the two-channel market. I can happily say that this model has been trouble-free. It also takes up to 128 gigabyte of expendable storage and offers built-in Wi-Fi and GPS, making it both easy to use and simplistic. Don't forget, Blackview is the only company that offers Mac compatible software. So there you have it. I hope this buyer's guide helps and you're more familiar with dash cams. 
If you still have questions, please feel free to email us at info at blackboxmycard.com. Come by our website for all your dashcam needs. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and look forward to our next video.